Welcome back to Appy Hour. In this week's edition, we're sticking with our same data set, but we're expanding it even more. So you can notice uh, we have a new data set for movies that has information about genres of movies. I'm going to create that as a table and bring that into my Sienna document. And then you'll also see that we've added a genre column to our original data set that has information about what genre each movie belongs to. And what we're going to do with this is now we're going to build a simple filter. And this filter is going to be using the bang select that we learned about in the other video. So what are we going to do? Let's jump right in. And I'm going to add two galleries this time. And I'm going to use one gallery to filter the other gallery. So I'm going to add one gallery to show my genre information. And I'm going to add another gallery to show my movie information. So first things first, at the top here, I'm going to go ahead and add uh, a label to this gallery. I'm going to bind that to the genre table and just show the information from there. So it's action, drama, and family. And then this one, I'm going to bind this gallery to this table. And just as before, I'm going to go and I'm going to show a movie, poster, and some description text like that. Finally, what I want to do is have it so that when I click on action or drama, it filters the movies to just that genre. And to do this, I'm going to use the very familiar, hopefully, Excel-like filter function. So to do that, here's what we do. Instead of just having this gallery point directly to the table, so at first your, your expression might look something like this. where items are directly bound to movies. Now what we want to do is we want to add a filter expression on this. And what we're going to say is items is equal to filter. What table are we filtering? Well, we're filtering our movies table. And what is the predicate or what is the condition that we want to put on this filter? Well, like we said, we only want to show movies where the genre is equal to the genre that we've selected in this gallery. So we use our selected, our bank selected, and we say, uh, let's call this um, gallery one. This is gallery two. Then I need to say that filter movies, where the genre is equal to gallery one bang selected bang genre and that's all you have to do because now what Sienna is going to say is it's going to look at this it sees gallery one sees gallery two gallery one is bound directly to my genre table gallery two is bound now to instead of directly to this it's bound to this filter expression so that when I go through and I click action I click drama I click family this genre changes which means I'm only going to see the movies filter down to the ones where this column match this column. And that's just how easy it is to have one gallery filtering another. And from here, the sky's the limit.